In this lecture, we are going to understand how to create MySQL connection using object-oriented programming. So let's take a look at how to create a secure and reusable connection using object-oriented programming. I'm going to show you how you can set up the MySQL connection so you can use that class anywhere in any PHP program. You all know the basic understanding of classes. Now let me show you how you can create a connection to MySQL database using PHP. So I'm going to open the XAMPP control panel and start the Apache and MySQL server. And I'm going to open the PHP my admin. Once I open it, you can see I have a few database here. Now let me just create a new database. So I'm going to click on this new. And here I'm going to create a new database. So I'm going to name the database DB name. And I'm going to click on this create button to create this database. I'm going to back to my project. So I'm going to start with a new class. So I'm going to start with a new class and specify the class name controller. In this class, I'm going to create protected property that can access only in the class or in the inherited class. As you know, protected variables or methods can be accessed in the inherited class as well. So I'm going to create a first property protected host is equal to localhost. So I'm going to specify host name localhost. Then I'm going to create a new protected property user and I'm going to specify the database username. I'm going to have the username root. So I'm going to specify root here. Then I'm going to specify password. I did not set any password to the database. So I'm going to leave this password as it is and specify empty string. And the last, you need to create a new property with the database name. And here I'm going to specify my database name in the single code. Now, once I have these properties, let me just specify this property in MySQL function. So we can establish a connection between MySQL database and this PHP script. I'm going to create a new connection so down here, I'm going to create a new public property connection and initialize it with now. I'm going to create a public property so you can access this connection in any PHP file. And then I'm going to create a new constructor. And in this constructor, I'm going to initialize this connection property. So I'm going to say this. So this is refers to the current class. Then call the connection property, this one. And specify equal to sign and call a function mySQLI connect. Now, using this function, we are going to create a connection between MySQL and PHP and PHP. When you call this function, you need to pass few parameters to this function. We already have these parameter values in these properties. So we can pass it to this function. So I'm going to pass this host name value to this parameter. So I'm going to call this and call a property name host. Then I'm going to specify comma and pass the second property user. So I'm going to pass this user property as a second parameter to this function. Just out of that, we need to pass password as well of the user. And the last, we need to specify the database name, which we want to use in this project. So I'm using DB name. So I'm going to specify this property as a fourth parameter to this MySQLI connect function. So I'm going to just specify this connection to this property. Just out of that, we also need to check the connection is properly established or not. So I'm going to call here if in the if statement, we need to call this connection and we need to call a property of the connection connect error. So if there is any error in this connection property, I'm going to just echo a failed message. Now, just after that, just after this if statement, I'm going to create an echo statement here and just specify a message connection successful. And if this program finds any error in the connection, it's going to echo this message. Now, if you have proper values to these properties, then your connection is going to be successful. You can use this class anywhere in any PHP program. You just need to change these values if you have different database, different user or different host. You don't need to worry about any of this code. Practice with this code to create a secure connection every time when you create a new PHP project. So I hope you understand how to create a connection between MySQL database and PHP and PHP program. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.